Hey everyone, John here from the Deers Embroidery Legacy and today I'm going to show you a great new feature within the Design Doodler. It will allow you to, within the behaviors, choose when you're going to generate your objects into stitches at your discretion. That means if you're doing an extremely detailed design or you're running a PC with a slower processor, you can reduce or eliminate your lag time. Now if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell so you're notified every time we come out with a new video. Now in previous versions of the Design Doodler, when you drew an object, it would automatically generate it into stitches. So if I were choosing a satin stitch and I wanted to do some of these scales, I would just follow along my artwork and I could draw as many scales as I wanted and it would look at those objects and complete them one after the other individually. Now this is a very, very simple way to do things and because I'm running a gaming PC and it's not that many objects, there was usually very little lag time within anything that I did. If I turn the 3D off, turn the objects off, I could select those objects, tell them to branch, and all of my objects would be branched together. The issue that we found was, as you are creating more and more complex designs, and if you have a computer with a slow processor, you were starting to get lag time to the point that the screen would turn white and people thought that it was freezing, but it really wasn't. The software was just thinking because it was looking at the first object and generating it. And every time you went forward and created another object, it had to recalculate the very first one all the way to the last one, even if there were a thousand pieces in between. So to make sure that we did this a little bit differently, we had to think outside of the box. And I now have within the three little dots at the bottom right hand side of the screen where you can get to your settings, you actually have your settings and you can go to your behaviors. And the default is set up at immediately, which is the way the software was designed originally. We do have it so that after a set period of time, it will automatically generate after so many seconds. And then we also have a uh, when you click the generate button. Now this one is different because you're not really generating stitches as you're moving along. You are creating artwork, you're creating lines, and that's what does not take much processing speed. It's when all of those lines have to be converted to stitches and the different stitch types, the densities, the underlay, that's when it takes more mathematical processing to do those functions. So this does look like a drawing app because you do have your pen, you have your widget, you have all your settings, but it converts it to stitches. So that's really where the difference comes in. If you are looking at a object and when I convert it to the generate tab and I hit the close, now you're going to see that at the very top I have a new little grayed out button that says generate. And if I do the exact same thing that I did before, I'm going to choose the satin or the steel stitch. I'm going to choose my width, which I have set at one millimeter. I'm going to go with my uh, freehand shape. And now when I create these objects and I start to draw one and then the other and then another one, and as I move forward with all of these objects, you're going to see that it's just drawing lines. There's absolutely no stitches that are appearing on the screen and I could do all of these pieces and it's not gonna take up much processing time or speed. You won't have any lag time. I could literally you know, create an entire design in the drawing mode and then after I am completely done, then I will go in and hit that generate stitch tab. When I hit the generate, that's when you're going to get stitches. Now once the stitches are generated, then you can choose or select all those stitches and I can do the same thing. I can branch those together. I can go in and change whatever settings or properties I want, but it just is a different way and a faster way to create objects and know that you're not going to have any issues no matter how detailed your design is going to be. So thanks for watching and be sure to join us for more Design Doodler feature videos. Design Doodler is an amazingly easy program that allows you to turn your imagination into stitches.